Welcome back to Third Phase of Moon. Blake Cousins along with my brother Brent and the incredible videos coming in right now. Just take a look at this and behold the phenomenon. A huge beam of light comes out of this massive light source coming from the skies shooting down towards the pacific ocean what the heck are we looking at we've got multiple angles from different eyewitnesses witnessing this and it is quite incredible welcome to third phase moon everybody and we are bringing it to you right now uh, this footage that has rocked the third phase moon we watched this earlier today we we're pretty amazed at what we're looking at brent's got some details along with more angles from multiple eyewitnesses seeing this. It's absolutely stunning what we're looking at here. Yeah, Blake, check this out. We got a side-by-side -side angle. Again, this was captured from a uh, P.S. Feliz. Uh, he said that this was a phenomenon. He didn't know what it was. And we're looking at something that we can understand. We're seeing the right, uh, it's kind of blown up and we see the other one on the left. We're looking at this, we're asking the question, is this a craft in the sky that's uh, illuminating a beam to the ground or is it vice versa? Is it uh, coming from the ground up? Here's a good close up as uh, somebody's driving there and getting a good shot here. When you wonder what the source could be for this massive luminance of light coming from the sky, like you suggest, Brett, from the ground, it's just hard to wrap your mind about, around uh, what we're looking at. Is this some kind of new weapon or some kind of you know, weather manipulation, Some something natural, or are we looking at something otherworldly? Right now, I could tell you we're looking at something legitimate. Some people might dismiss this as CGI. Let me tell you, third phase of moon, if you're looking for CGI, you're in the wrong place. I would say about 99% of what we're putting on uh, here is legitimate footage and nobody's perfect in this field, but I'd say the record's pretty good at calling what is CGI and what's not. And what we're looking at right here is legitimate and including the multiple sources confirmed something went down we're hoping we're going to see more of this footage and some explanation from somebody that could give us some answers yeah again looking at this could this be again new technology that's being produced and showcased for the public to see maybe it's uh, done secretly off someplace in the pacific we just don't know again i haven't seen this if anybody's aware of what this uh technology is hey, let us know yes we're open to suggestions maybe possible explanations as well and your comments it really means a lot now more video into third phase moon behold again driving on the side of the freeway somebody captures a moment in time we're kind of slowing the footage down a side by side comparison we're uh, looking a little closer to the right frame here of some kind of streak over the night skyline some kind of sphere like uh, object or shape is making up the top portion of this is this some kind of rocket being launched something uh, that elon musk could be involved with it doesn't look like a spacex launch that i'm aware of but you know we get a lot of these and again this just doesn't seem quite like a spacex this looks different to me yeah, this was taken by Juana York out of Puerto Rico. So maybe there's an opportunity to see a launch from there. Again, this could be an aftermath of one of Elon Musk's uh, rocket launches, one of his SpaceX. Again, we don't know, but it seems like some sort of uh, projection in the sky that we just can't explain. Yes, with Elon Musk, uh, usually you see tall tale signs of boosters re-entering or uh, the module itself being shot into space i'm not seeing any of that right now i'm just seeing a cloud formation i uh, on the left i kind of see a star up in the sky could that be a spacex again uh, we get these videos coming in from everybody from around the world we got to lock down the exact time and place of this but if this is some kind of weather phenomenon or uh, something 
that could be secretive some kind of secret program uh, we want to show it all and that's what we're here for at third phase of moon is showcasing and the evidence uh, brent again as we're looking at this a little closer you see that uh, bright light to the top is that a star or a planet or you think it it could be a spacex falcon rocket uh, that's a big question. I don't know, but we're looking at this thing and there's there's a prism of lights You see a little purple white yellow all these kind of a contrast of colors. It's pretty uh, It's a really good-looking shot if I saw this I'd film it. I'd submit it to third phase You're looking at vintage video from 1980s never seen before including an update from the volcano in South America of what looks to be some kind of mysterious orb. We're gonna be showcasing this in incredible detail, including an update from Into Thin Air of what looks to be some kind of celestial event, a UFO approaching the sun and changes directions. Incredible stuff right here at Third Phase Moon. Buckle up, let's get to it. Take a look at this first video right now. We've got Rich Giordano from Goofon. He's gonna be joining us on this incredible episode, giving us his opinion of this incredible UFO encounter shot in the 1980s. Listen up. You can tell it's not CGI. It definitely doesn't look like CGI, but you're talking about the 80s. So they didn't really do that back then. So you gotta stop saying that. If it's a blimp, I've never seen one like it in the 80s. And I'm a child of the 80s, so I, I don't know what this thing is. This is pretty legit looking. It even has some depth to it. Like there's like indentations on the object and it's a, not just one solid shape, you know, like a sports model type of disc. This has maybe different levels inside, but the way it's built, it looks like it's got different layers or Wow, it is a, it is really interesting. Yeah, good stuff, man. See, this is what ufology is about right here. This is it. That's right, Rich. And we're looking at it once again, quite incredible. From the 1980s, a vintage video comes forward. And again, like you said, Rich, no CGI. This is real stuff we're sharing with you. The question is, what the heck are we looking at? Bob Lazar speaks of the sports model. Is this something in regards to that technology, something that defies gravity or seemingly defies gravity with no means of propulsion? It's quite interesting. Again, the jagged edges that's protruding around this craft and you can see it hover and descend behind the rooftop there so it is quite interesting i'm trying to gauge on how large this craft is i'm guessing i don't know 20 to maybe 40 feet in diameter brent what's your thoughts here we're looking at something crazy and everybody's mentioning the appendages on this i like it a lot what this reminds me of is recent sightings in latin america that look exactly like this and decades earlier we're looking at the same phenomenon this is exciting 
exciting stuff. I, I hope more people in the future will go through those archives. They're not hiding, and they weren't hiding back then either. Again, we get this one shot where the person's zooming into it, and this craft is off at a distance. And again, we see nothing that indicates any kind of propulsion, and it seems metallic as well. So uh, pretty incredible stuff, uh, to say the least. Guys, I want to get your opinions in this live premiere. We're in the chat. We're chiming in in real time. We're wanting to find out what, what's going on here because uh, we're being left in the dark. NASA's not giving us any straight answers, obviously. Uh, the UFO task force is a joke. And the only place you're going to see any kind of disclosure and the latest UFO videos. Once again, this video right here has never been seen before until just now, right here on Third Phase of Moon. And it is interesting. Something to say. I've never seen it, so I'm not sure if it's been around. But again, this is news to me. So whether it's shot in the 80s, in the 70s, or in 2023 coming up, it doesn't matter if you haven't seen it before it is something that needs to be shared right here at third phase of moon now let's get to into thin air he's made an incredible discovery from the lasco nasa camps of what looks to be some kind of ufo changing directions hit it into thin air i'm sure many of you this will not be the first time you have seen or heard about this recent footage that has been caught on the lasco c3 camera as what seemingly looked like some sort of beam going through our sun then causing a cme now that is the least of our worries when it comes to this particular clip because what happens after that is something that not many people have ever seen nor can explain and when i say that i mean that some of the biggest astronomical and space experts out there cannot seem to figure out what this object is that is making its way towards the sun and then makes a complete u-turn then launches away at an incredible speed i am now repeating this in real time so you can actually see and visualize that this thing is approaching the sun before turning away now many of us have seen sun diving comets that go towards the sun but they always wrap around the sun and either get destroyed in the process by the the sun's heat and in rare occasions can make it out the other side but this is not the case this thing is approaching and then turning away from the sun which again as i said from research i've done so far and listening to some of the biggest channels and voices out there that study this stuff simply just don't understand what is going on here some even saying that this is an actual craft or object clearly some sort of object to have been captured on this camera to begin with but but the movements and the drastic change in direction and the speed at which it leaves has to make you wonder what exactly is this thing now what i would like to do is go back to that beam that seemingly and i mean seemingly i'm not saying this actually took place but this beam looks as if it causes a cme on our sun and it's within the same 24 hour period that that craft or that orb or whatever this is that then makes that u-turn away from the sun actually takes place so this isn't a bunch of different clips put together. This is taking place within about a 24 to 36 hour period. Incredible. Uh, into thin air. What a uh, report bringing forth the information. He has a keen eye and he's looking for the anomalies, the UFOs. And what we've got here is something quite incredible. Guys, I want to get your opinions in the chat right now. What do you think it is? Is this just space junk or is this possibly some kind of craft? changing directions uh, quite astonishing to say the least i want nasa to give us some explanations we haven't seen this kind of phenomenon before we've got richard giordano right now rich from goofon what's your thoughts here so this object that's heading towards the sun now it's really interesting for a couple of reasons the first reason is the obvious one it makes a turn as it gets near the sun that is something you never see. That's the second thing. You've never seen that before when you're watching these kind of videos from this type of perspective, from that camera angle. And you, you always see the specks going into the sun out the other end or one direction only, never turning. This is the first time I've ever seen that and I can't explain why that would be. Someone said, I read somewhere, maybe it was solar winds and 
it was pushing this thing around. I, I don't think it works that way, but I don't know if it's a disc shaped object, but the size of this thing would have to be what? what? Maybe like half the size of the earth, if anything, it's, it's huge. I, I don't know what else I could say about it other than it's unique and it's just not going in a straight line, it's turning. So is that intelligence? Are we looking at something or someone? Is it, a, is it us? Do we have that technology to get that close to the sun? Uh, apparently we can take ET home. I don't know what we have here, but it's heading towards the sun and turning away. It's interesting though. That's right, Rich. Ben Rich from Lockheed Skunk Works told Jim Goodall, you know, our friend, that we have the power to take ET home. That's what Lockheed Skunk Works, the late Ben Rich, told Jim Goodall. Is this some kind of evidence of some kind of interstellar craft that we're looking at? Or is it something mundane? As Into Thin Air did his special report, this is captured within 30 to 46 hours. We're watching it in time lapse as it does its loop. And, uh, you know, there's been strange anomalies being captured by the sun for decades now. And we have no explanation to what th these are. And things just don't change direction without some kind of propulsion behind it. Could it be the solar waves creating some kind of bounce effect, repelling it from the sun? Brent, what's your thoughts here? Yeah, I'm looking at some of the sped up footage and it kind of gives a little detail. I like it. Some people might say that the object looks like it comes to a complete stop, but maybe this thing's just kind of ricocheting and, and taking a curve instead of a, a direct stop. Again, I do like the analysis that Into Thin Air is providing right here and there's a phenomenon happening. This is a celestial event and I'd like more information on it. Great stuff. You know, it, wouldn't it be nice if NASA just kind of came forward and would explain these things away? I'm pretty sure national security would prevent them from telling us what's really going on. Could you imagine if this is some kind of starcraft harnessing the energy from the sun? Speaking of energy, volcanoes are magnets for UFOs. Here's a new one that's just come in. Watch this. La luz. La luz. Si no miras la luz, solo la miro yo. No. Mira. Miren esa luz, esa luz extraña. Miren ahí. Se le está apareciendo. Yo la estoy grabando. ¿Qué miran? Una luz, ahí veo una luz. Ah. Me preocupa ya. Si no, no tapa, ¿no? Mírala, mírala ahí. Es que lo chistoso es que está flotando y cuando la miramos, la miramos en el suelo. ¿Qué será, no? Esa luz, esa luz extraña. Miren ahí. Se le está apareciendo. Yo la estoy grabando. Una luz, ahí veo una luz. Ah. Me preocupa ahí. Manos. Mírala, 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 mírala. Mira esa luz de ahí. ¿Si la estás viendo? La luz. La si no miras la luz, o solo la miro yo. No. Again, people on the big island of Hawaii, and we live on the most active volcano on the planet. UFOs are very, very uh, consistent around volcanoes. But right now, we're in St. Augustine, Florida. We're traveling across America. And again, we, we're bringing these videos to you as we're traveling making new documentaries for you but at the moment we can't explain to you what exactly this could be is this some kind of reflection in my opinion this isn't any kind of lens flare or some kind of reflection or pepper's ghost as some people might say something's there and it's quite interesting to look at this as the person pulls in and we notice some kind of glimmery 
uh, light off at the distance and it's really cool that these people stuck around to get some really good broad daylight footage look how far this is away and they did a really good job zooming in on this thing Brent, what's your thoughts here? Is this something mundane like ball lightning or is this some kind of phenomenon that could be biological in nature? Volcanoes are an active area for UFO sightings and uh, I'm not surprised that they capture something like this in South America and Latin America. It's a hot spot just pull this up i do have some background information on this video and it's in my email just let me pull this up and this is what we heard an incredible giant orb caught in uh the cumball volcano in colombia norino and the eyewitness says says that um this happened in colombia during the ascent of the during their descent or ascent to uh, the cumball volcano so they're traversing up to the volcano when they spotted this they said they observed a giant sphere of light and it, and it was uh, inhospitable in the place that it was located. It couldn't have been anything, as these guys were saying. First, the sphere, they said, was on the ground and then, then it approached them and they were actually kind of concerned in regards to this being in close proximity to them. So whatever it is, in my opinion, these U UFOs aren't a threat. If they're not ours, let's just put it that way, they're not. Because in our opinion, a lot of these UFOs are man-made with technology that's been suppressed from us for over a century. Here in Washington, it's 3 p.m. We're following a developing story. Could the military patrol the streets? Well, you don't just have two, three, ten trillion dollars vanish. We've given so far 171 billion dollars. Most of the work being done on this are private corporations. Call this a hybrid entity that's neither strictly government nor strictly private. If these are extraterrestrials are real and they're getting here from another star system, they're not using 20th century or early 21st century technology. People at the CIA call it WSFM. Weird science and frickin' magic. That's right, battle for disclosure and Battle for Disclosure, the second issue, Air Force One Down, is available right now on Amazon Kindle. Take a look. You will be amazed on how closely this parallels what's going on right now around our world. If you've captured anything amazing, submit it to us right here at Third Phase of Moon. My contact email is in the description. We'll see you next time.